Hey there, science enthusiasts. Welcome back to another exciting journey into the world of plants. Imagine this, you're a plant. Your roots are deep in the soil, absorbing water and nutrients while your leaves reach out to the sun. Your whole life revolves around sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. These are the essentials that keep you alive and thriving. But sometimes things don't go exactly as planned. Even in the plant world, there are unexpected challenges. Let's talk about a little hiccup in the plant world called photorespiration. It's a process that can throw a wrench in the works. Now, usually plants take in carbon dioxide and produce oxygen during photosynthesis, right? This is the fundamental process that fuels their growth. But sometimes, plants end up breathing oxygen instead of CO2. Weird, huh? So here's what happens. It's like a mix-up in their respiratory system. There's this key enzyme called Rubisco. It's one of the most abundant proteins on Earth and plays a crucial role in photosynthesis. Think of Rubisco as the plant's helper in the Calvin cycle. It's like the plant's personal assistant, ensuring everything runs smoothly. Its job is to fix carbon dioxide. This means it helps convert CO2 into organic molecules that the plant can use for energy. But Rubisco has a bit of an identity crisis. It sometimes gets confused about its role. When the concentration of carbon dioxide drops, it starts fixing oxygen instead. This mix-up leads to a less efficient process. This process is called photorespiration. It's like a detour that the plant has to take, which isn't very productive. And why does this happen? What triggers this detour in the plant's metabolism? Well, it all boils down to the conditions around the plant. Environmental factors play a significant role. When there's plenty of water and an abundant supply of carbon dioxide, Rubisco does its job perfectly. The plant thrives and grows efficiently. But when carbon dioxide levels fall, Rubisco gets confused. It's like trying to follow a map with missing directions. So why is this a problem? Why should we care about this mix-up in the plant's respiratory process? Photorespiration basically wastes energy and carbon. It's an inefficient process that doesn't benefit the plant. Instead of making sugars, the plant ends up producing a compound called phosphoglycolate, which is, well, pretty useless for the plant. It's like producing waste instead of fuel. It has to go through a bunch of steps to recycle it back into something useful. This extra work costs the plant valuable energy. But let's not panic plants have been dealing with this for millions of years. They've developed ways to cope with these challenges. C3 plants, which are the most common, face this issue. They're the everyday heroes of the plant world, dealing with photorespiration regularly. However, under the right conditions, with enough water and CO2, photorespiration isn't much of a problem. The plant can manage just fine. Here's a fun fact. Some plants have evolved ways to minimize photorespiration. They've developed clever adaptations to make the best of their environment. C4 and CAM plants have specialized mechanisms to efficiently fix carbon dioxide, even when it's scarce. Pretty cool, right? These plants are like the superheroes of the plant kingdom. So next time you look at a plant, remember, there's a lot more going on than meets the eye. They're constantly adapting and evolving to survive. From photosynthesis to photorespiration, plants have evolved some fascinating ways to survive. Their resilience and adaptability are truly remarkable. All right, that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the hidden processes of plants. If you enjoyed this little dive into the world of plants, hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating science content. Your support helps us bring more exciting topics to you. Until next time, stay curious. Keep exploring the wonders of science with us. Beautiful science, watermark. See you in the next video.